You don't need to go to Niagara Falls when you can eat some Brian Falls. What's going on, NASCAR Diecast Collectors and Diecast Reviews on YouTube? This is Original Big Brian here. Welcome back to another NASCAR Authentic Diecast Review on my YouTube channel. Uh, as always, guys, feel free to hit that subscribe button and also make sure to turn on your notifications and click that bell icon so you guys can stay up to date on any of my latest NASCAR Authentic Diecast Reviews or NASCAR Diecast News or anything that's NASCAR Diecast out there. But we are going to be doing a diecast for you guys, and it will actually be on a 2017 car, guys, for once. So don't worry, guys. I'm not getting rusty on that stuff yet. But without further ado, guys, we'll be going ahead and give you guys a NASCAR Authentics diecast review on Eric Amarola's 2017 United States Air Force or U.S. Air Force um, Ford Fusion for um, Richard Petty Motorsports. So this is a really cool car that I just recently picked up uh, at my local Walmart because Wave 6 just got released there, and I'm sure it did for any of you other viewers who are watching this video but very cool right there this is the second time we got the Air Force car released which was also in the bonus wave as well which you know that was you know very ironic but we finally got a proper Air Force car in this in um, in NASCAR authentic so very nice right there and you see right there there's a traditional collect them all as always and a good majority of these die casts look very familiar I think I have reviewed every single one of these except for one and if you guess who that is then uh, congratulations you are a winner uh, I don't know what you're going to win, but hopefully you guys will be excited enough to go ahead and join me on this unboxing on Eric Amarola's uh, 2017 U.S. Air Force car. Now, as much as I love the Smithfield car, you got to admit, this diecast looks pretty badass. I mean, wow, look at those Thunderbolts, man. Just looks amazing. Uh, but before we get on to this diecast, guys, as always, I'm going to look at the little magnet that comes with this. But it's actually not a magnet. It's also, I uh, don't know why I keep saying magnets. God, NASCAR Authentics, um, uh, Lionel really needs to put magnets on these uh, plastic hoods because it's really making me look bad as a diecast reviewer. <laughs> I'm just busting my chops out there. But you got to have some fun in these diecast reviews. But here is the uh, plastic hood accessory that comes with this and it's very nice right there um, you got, you got Eric Amarola's uh, fake signature and the famous number 43 Richard Petty gotta love that and you know you got the United States Air Force uh, logo right on right in the middle um, so you know not too crazy right there but uh, those Thunderbolts man just looks amazing so if you're a fan of uh, Thunder then this will be a great diecast review for you guys as I just completely make that lopsided now those all my fans are gonna be all OCD on that but uh, anyways guys back to the diecast uh, man I'm gonna go ahead and give you guys a 360 view and of course this is the 2017 car guys um, and you can see right there, there's already some errors on this. I mean, uh, were you not surprised? Uh, this side was really messed up, though. You can see right there, the 43 is a lot more lower than what it usually is. So, yeah. <laughs> um, and you see Amaral's name's also chopped up as well. I guess he's uh, known as um, uh, 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 Rolla now. Uh, yeah. <laughs> um, and also the, uh, I don't think that's normal, but um, yeah. That's Windows, not in properly. So, uh I don't know, I think I'm not actually going to praise Lionel for once because I did get a bad die cast. But we're going to try to ignore that, maybe I'll sense that out for you guys. But the Eric Amarillo Air Force guys, uh, Air Force car, wow. <laughs> I think that um, little mistake is really kind of messing up my review. But hopefully it's providing you guys some good entertainment out there, guys. Um, after all, there's editing after all, but who needs that? We're just going to do this, you know, um, live and loud. <laughs> and speaking of loud, guys, the U.S. Air Force car. Yes, this car is very similar to last year's, but of course, you know, we do not have the Sprint Cup Series logos. Uh, I think the Fresh from Florida logo is also uh, vertical for this year. I think last year it was horizontal, so that's another big difference right there. Um, and, of course, we know the name banners, and this car also was supposed to have the, um, the, the salute banners that they uh, ran at Charlotte and Daytona July race, which I'm sure he ran in one of those tracks. I mean, usually I see this car run at the Daytona July race because he did one with his paint scheme in 2014, um, which that was his last win, by the way, and his only. So, uh, <laughs> but they did change the paint scheme up from that year. Uh, but it's very, uh, uh, it's a very similar paint scheme from 2016, though. However, though, uh, I do like the thunder on this, as I will be looking at another 360 view because you know this paint scheme is nice. As we're gonna try to ignore that bad side. But yeah, Eric Amarola, guys, you know we're having a lot of buzz about him lately, especially with the 43 team. I mean, it's not looking good for him, and also the 43 car. I mean, um, they, as you guys know, Smithfield, um, this wonderful sponsor right here um, that's just for you David <laughs> if David Lance watching this video then uh, go check him out he's a great youtuber and also he loves his uh, Smithfield bacon but then again who doesn't love bacon but we're not talking about the Smithfield car we're talking about the United 
uh, States Air Force car, or the U.S. Air Force, no matter what you want to call it. But I'm kind of glad this car finally got released um, because, you know, we this is the only car that we have that is supporting a U U.S. military branch. I mean, do you guys remember back in the day when they had all types of, all, all the branches of the United States of, Amer of America? I mean, we had the Army from Ryan Newman and freaking... Uh, the Marines, and then National Guard from Dale Jr., and multiple other Hendrick drivers, and Greg Biffle. I mean, just, man, I miss those days. I mean, who? and also we had U.S. Army from Joe Nemechek. I mean, man, I wish a lot more military sponsors, you know, uh, came at, back into NASCAR. But maybe another good reason why I got this car, because I am a huge supporter of the military. I mean, and if anybody out there who are big fans of, you know, the military or huge supporters, and also if you know anybody out there who is in the Air Force, um, this would be a cool die cast, you know, to pay tribute to their support because um, you know after all we are in the United States of America it's the home of the brave and home of you know the free and really got to thank all of our soldiers you know for this for this great country we live in even though we're kind of going downhill lately but uh, enough of politics <laughs> back to this diecast this is a diecast review um, you know what more can I say about this car I mean with I think this car is a great recommended buy because um, might be the last time we're going to see the U.S. Air Force car because Rich Payne Motorsports is not looking good for them. Um, it looks like I'm rolling. It could be Alvaro ride next year. Bubba Wallace might take over, but they got to find sponsors because Smithfield's going over to Stuart Haas Racing. and um, I think they're going to keep STP, but still unfamiliar where the Air Force is going to come into play for this. I mean, uh, who knows? Maybe they will sponsor Bubba Wallace, but it'll still be really cool regardless, though. But definitely a great recommend to get this car along with the Smithfield car from this year. But this has been a die but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This has been a NASCAR Authentics Diecast review on uh, Eric Amarillo. Rolas 2017 U.S. Air Force Ford Fusion for Rich Penny Motorsports. If you guys enjoyed this video, please give a good comment, like. If you guys have not already, I highly encourage you guys to subscribe to my channel for any more of the latest NASCAR Authentics diecast reviews and many more to come. But until then, guys, this is a Rich Big Ride. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will catch you guys in the next NASCAR Authentics diecast review.